Hey, welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to learn how to design uh, this container here. It doesn't look like a container, but it is. Um, basically you have your base portion of the container here, and on the other side you have your lid. Okay, and in between it we kind of have this block here, which is going to help us put it in the vise here, and we're going to eventually remove this material with a facing operation. So let's go ahead and get started. Go to File, New, Standard Inches Part, Create. And then we're gonna to go to Start 2D Sketch, and I always like to pick the XY plane. Okay, and then we're gonna come on up here to a two-point center rectangle. Okay, and then we're gonna draw it out, starting at the center here. Um, and we're gonna make it three inches by three inches, tab. We're going to hit enter and then we're going to finish our sketch and we're going to extrude this okay uh, a distance of 0.5 inches and hit okay all right looking at our dimensions below let's go ahead and start um a 2d sketch here let's on this surface making the base of our container so we're going to start a 2d sketch here Okay, and I'm going to come up to my circle tool here, and we're just going to draw some random circles for now. Okay, and I'm going to dimension them 0.625 inches from the corners. So we're going to use our location dimensions here, okay, to tell our circle where we want it. Okay, so we have our circles in place. Let's go ahead and dimension each circle now. Uh, looking at our dimensions below, we need to have um, the fillets that you see or the corners of our container need to have a radius of point, uh, point 0.25. So I'm going to make these circles each point 0.5 here. Okay, well, looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and make the sides of our containers. You can do this one of two ways. If you want a basic sort of square shape, come over here and use the line tool and find basically the very edge of that circle we just made and click here and come to the other side and do that all the way around, okay? Um, but uh, I'm gonna make it look a little more fancy here and I'm gonna go with what the assignment and the uh, the uh, the image below kind of looks like and I'm going to use my arc tool to make our sides of our container a little more curvy here okay so I'm just going to kind of draw some random arcs for now okay and make sure you find the edges of the circles when you're doing that looks pretty good Okay, now we're going to use our tangent constraint here, and we're just going to go around and make each of these tangent, each of these arcs. Tangent to each circle. And you should have two tangent constraints on each circle here. So we're good there, good there, we're good all the way around. All right, so almost done here. Um, we want to make each of these arcs equal or the same, right? So what we're going to do now is come to our equal constraint here. And I'm going to make this one equal to that one, that one equal to that one, and that one equal to the, that one. 
Okay. And uh, let's make sure that one is equal to, and we're good. We have all the equal constraints we need. All right. Um, I'm going to take it off my equal constraint, hit escape, and I'm going to come up here to my dimension now, and I'm just going to dimension this arc. It's 4.776. Okay. And now we're fully constrained, which is good, but just to make sure each arc is the same, I'm going to basically come over here. 4.776 looks good. 4.776 looks good. 4.77. Okay, so all of our sides are equal, basically. So now we can go to our trim tool, trim that, trim that, trim that, and trim that. Okay. Now we want to go ahead and do uh, an offset off of this. And if you look at our dimensions below, we have a wall thickness of 0.25 inches or a quarter inch. Okay, now we can go ahead and finish our sketch and extrude this guy uh, 0.75 inches. Okay, and it's starting to look more like the base of our container. So to make the lip of our container, let's go ahead now and start a 2D sketch on here. Okay, and we're going to project geometry. And then once again, we're going to offset it based on our dimensions seen below here, 0.125. Okay, and then we're going to finish our sketch. And we're going to extrude this inner portion here a distance of 0.25. Okay. And there we have it. Uh, there is the base portion. Oh, we're not quite done yet. We still got to do one other thing, and that is raise our floor up a little bit, okay, which is an important step here. So if you look at your dimensions below, you'll notice that the floor here comes up 0.25 inches. So we're going to start a sketch on there. Once again, project geometry, okay, finish our sketch, and extrude that 0.25 inches, okay, and hit OK. And there we go. All right, so now that our base of our container is done, let's go ahead now and flip it over and start a sketch on here to make the lid here. So let's go to start a 2D sketch on here, and we're going to come back to project geometry. And this is important. You want to make sure you find the outer, not, not these inner arcs, but the outer edge of your container, project geometry, okay, all around the sides here, okay. So not that one, <laughs> right there. Okay, so um, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do an offset here. Okay, and we're gonna offset it um, 0.125. Okay. And here's the thing, okay? If you look at our dimensions down below, 0.125 isn't gonna fit on our container. Uh, if you notice, it says 0.125 minus 0 0.005. So what we wanna do now, okay, is in order for this lid to fit, we need to add the tolerance of 0 0.005. So I'm actually gonna, um, double click on my thing here and I'm gonna, on my dimension, I'm gonna go minus 0 0.005 and then enter. And there we have 0 0.120, okay? And that will give us, okay, the thickness of the lip we need for our container lid to fit on the base. Okay, so uh, now that we're done, we can go ahead and finish our sketch and we can extrude that based on the dimensions here, it's 0.5. Okay, and we're gonna hit okay. And then we need to do the same thing for the floor of our lid. Okay, so when we remove this material, it's not hollow right here. So we need to give the lid basically uh, a surface. So let's start a sketch here. And if you look at our dimensions, okay, um, let's first project the geometry. Okay, and then finish our sketch. And if you look at our dimensions, okay, it's 
0.27. So I'm going to just go ahead and extrude this. 0.5 minus 0.27. Okay, and there we go. There's our correct uh, lid height here. Okay, and if everything goes well, you should have a nice fitting container here after you do your cam process. All right, thanks for watching.